Well, hello and good afternoon. It's Kyle Kyle's Tracks and Travels. And today we're going to be demonstrating how to make these notches right here. This one is supposed to be for a pail handle. This one is supposed to be for a bottle. And I'll show you what this is here in a minute. We'll demonstrate both. I will demonstrate what this part's for besides just being a handle to lift it up with. Like I said, we'll demonstrate this whole thing. This is actually take two because I was on the table. It was real wild in the video. This was not going well with this as I was carving this. So I'll go ahead and do a take two, but we'll do it with this stick right here. I gotta get you guys down here. All right, here's what we got. Is I'm gonna cut this into a 45 degree angle. Then we'll go up a little bit and just go down in a 45 degree angle. And I'll get that notch. I learned this a few days ago by watching a Corpus Corner Midweek videos. So if I were you guys, they'd go check him out. So this is, a, I don't, let's see, about here and about 45 degrees. And hopefully I can hold this still. This is definitely better than the first tape I used. Angle there. Come on, saw the one we saw. How are we doing here? There we go. There we go. Nope. Well, this table ain't much better either. This is not wobbly. We're getting it though. I will do this to us a little bit past my first saw. Alright. Just a little bit up. Not much. Just a little bit. Once again at that 45 degree angle. Keep it in line here. At least try to. Let me get this started, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm having problems getting my sauce off. Alright, here's what we're doing. Right here with this. What I'm doing is just sawing this out of here. I moved up a little. I feel I didn't move up too far. Do it like this too. Don't matter how the hell you hold it, as long as it's getting the job done. And I probably went up a little too far, that's alright, we're going to go and work with it. Now if you have to, you can take a knife, which is what I'm about to do. Grab my mower here. I can clean that up. Sometimes it's a little bit easier than I, than it's all. Now, this can be done with the knife. The saw is a little bit faster though. Get that cleaned up. I'm gonna make that a little bit deeper. Yeah, we're gonna make that a lot deeper. <laughs> It 
quite go deep than us, so we're starting the game. Show me that Ford five grand. Oh. crooked side. I think I can straighten up though. By doing this. Take the knife kind of. Saw on this a little bit. See how that looks? You know, it's kind of crooked. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and the guy here and we'll see what it does for a pot. Works great. Now we got that. What I'm after now is kind of put that stick up in there. This part I found difficult when I was doing this one. But we'll see if it fits up in there. Twist up in there. I'm not going to carve on a stick right because I want to demonstrate with this one. It makes it a multi tool, but sometimes you got to carve on a stick. But, oh, that's tight. Look at that. All right, I didn't have to carve up on a stick. Now I'll get back with you guys. Now we're going to go outside. We're going to demonstrate this and what makes it a multi tool. Get back with you. All right. What makes this multi-purpose? Well, let's pretend there's a fire here. I got my pot in the fire. I got my water bottle. Let's try the water bottle first. Got it in there. I can now take it. Now let's pretend I want to keep it over the fire. There we go. I can keep that water bottle in the fire just like that. The knife I show you with that toggle. It's going to be my hand or this for Hang the water bottle and get it off there. Set it back down. This part's kind of tricky at times. There we go. I can take that second notch that's right here above this one with the toggle on it. Get it going. Hang it there again. I am not sure to fire with this thing. There'll be more demonstrations when I go to cook food in the pot and the well, bowl of water in the water bottle. But I can carry these suckers around if I want to. Just like that. Put it right back down. Excuse me. <coughs> oh man, something's got my arms, folks. Excuse me. But anyways. <coughs> God. Alright, I think I'm there sneezing. Now I'm going to demonstrate carrying the water bottle around. Say you had a bowl of water, you just make cowboy coffee. Well, this bowl of water for whatever reason. I can now carry that around. I can carry it around like this. See, now I got a handle. Now I cannot hang things. But I've got a handle that I can carry stuff on. Or with. See? Let me set it back down. There we go. Alright. That's the end of this video as to how I carve a pell notch bottle. That's what I'm calling it. I don't know a pell notch for your bottle or your pot. And these are the notches you're trying to carve. And on Corporal's Corn, his had a little bit more of a point. And he actually demonstrates the knife. Let me get it up on the phone here. See 
So if you want to see it demonstrated tonight, go to Corporal's Corner's Middle Week video, and he'll show you how to do it tonight. I forgot the name of the video, right? As I say it. That's basically how it's done. That's how you create those pedal notches. And also, I can set up the toggle. Just carve yourself a toggle. Try to find a toggle that'll fit down that way. You don't have to carve too. I had to carve a little bit on this one, not too much. Like I said, this pit in there, all you really gotta do is just twist. You'll hear a squeak. And you go do this. I'm just twisting and pressing. There we go. That's in there. That's how you want it. And there you go. But besides that, this is Kyle Kyle's Tracks and Trails. If you like what you see, Please subscribe to me, and another thing when you do get notified, hit the all notification bell, that way you can get notified. Another thing we can do is hit that thumbs up so we can keep the video circulated. We can also leave me a comment, I do enjoy appreciate the comments, so I learn off each other. And also let's share the video out so we can keep up with each other and stay informed. I'll see you guys on the next one, I do appreciate y'all watching, thanks.